can the Border Patrol count on you and President Biden, who has said the people will pay, uh, to come to an, uh, a determination based on the facts and, and not based on Twitter outrage? They sure can. The nice words you said about them, you should probably share with President Biden, not just with, uh, not just with me today. CNN anchor Jake Tapper grilling DHS Secretary Mayorkas for accusing border agents of false Twitter narratives and threatening severe consequences. But Mayorkas started doing the Sunday show rounds, making a stunning reversal about his views on border agents. Listen to this. I'm intensely and immensely uh, proud of the men and women of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. In fact, in Del Rio, Texas, I saw them act heroically. Joining us now to discuss is Sheriff Andy Lauterbach of Texas uh, from Jackson County. Sheriff, thank you for joining us today. We appreciate it. Good morning. Thank you very much. Good morning, indeed. Uh, we heard the secretary there, Secretary Mayorkas. Again, this all stemmed from a viral images of Border Patrol agents on horseback, and Twitter mob was quick to determine that they were using reins as whips. The president then called for an investigation, saying that people will pay, there will be consequences, uh, saying that this is not who we are. And then, of course, we heard the secretary, Mayorkas, uh, uh, on the Sunday show saying that he would look into what actually happened there before any consequences were made. But, Sheriff, talk to me about these Border Patrol agents. Who are they? And, and do they feel as though they have the support of the federal government for when they do their job? Well, it looked like, uh, to, uh, to those of us in law enforcement, it looked like Border Patrol actually doing their job like they want to, uh, and actually of which they're prohibited from doing uh, ever since this administration has taken office. And from, from uh, Secretary Mayorkas' position on this, um, that's a serious lack of credibility here that's very damaging to, to the Border Patrol and those of us in law enforcement here that are actively engaged in, in, in trying to enforce the law uh, our immigration laws and ensure some type of national security uh, with our border here. Uh, in spite of what uh, Secretary Mayorka says, um, the, the lack of morale, um, the, the actual positioning of this administration through Mayorkas' uh, leadership on this or, or lack of leadership on this is, is unbelievable. Uh, from from the aspect of a law enforcement perspective here. Mm -hmm. They're not allowed to do their job. They haven't been since January the 20th of this year. And it's it's a it's a it's a sad reprehensible situation that we endure here uh, in Texas. And the men and women of Border Patrol uh, are, are sick and tired of it. Uh, and, and that's that's easily conveyed. Uh, and it's actually been printed uh, on on his um, lack of credibility on what he says uh, for his support of the men and women of, of the uh, of the Border Patrol. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, our hats and, and other law enforcement agencies around the state of Texas have, have always been off to the men and women of the Border Patrol, the job that they are not allowed to do under this administration. Well, I sense the frustration that you're sharing with us. Of course, these men and women, they're trying to do their jobs, uh, protect the borders of this country here. I want to play for you another soundbite uh, from these interviews. Here's Secretary Mayorkas refusing to call what's happening at our southern border a crisis. Listen. You know, I've got to tell, I've got to, I'm going to stop you right there. Let, let me just say very clearly, we are focused on meeting the challenge. We are focused on mission. Uh, so that timestamp a, a week ago now, um, I, I also want to point out, too, that he does not know um, exactly how many migrants are being released into this country right now. The administration, uh, as we know, uh, not looking to build a wall at this point. Um, he said this, saying, I think it's about 10,000 or so, 12,000. It could be even higher. The number that are returned could be even higher. We do not agree with the building of the wall. The law provides that individuals can make a claim for humanitarian relief. That is actually one of our proudest traditions. Um, but when you look at the numbers there, again, Sheriff, uh, 10 to 12,000 uh, migrants being released into the United States. Your thoughts on... on how the Biden administration has handled what is a crisis at the southern border? Well, again, we have uh, record lawlessness with this administration. Uh, it, it's it's unbelievable the comments, and this is why I keep uh, uh, you know a key point here is the credibility 
uh, of the federal government and, and DHS and our DHS secretary uh, on the things that are said are, are simply not true and easily uh, easily disputed by the American public in here in Texas, uh, easily disputed by law enforcement. As we know that there's a crisis down there. It's obvious there's a crisis down there. And why would you take a position? I mean, we have a, we have a federal judge that uh, over a month ago ruled, uh, which went to the Supreme Court of the United States and lost it on the, the federal government, lost on the 63 vote on the reinstatement of the Remain in Mexico program. We have absolutely nothing in place at that. And it's, it's five weeks ago that this, uh, that this uh, decree was, was uh, put in place by Matt, uh, Judge Matthew Kretzmer out of Amarillo. And we have no word uh, any, uh, on anything about this. Uh, and right. so the utter lawlessness, uh, the lack of calling it a crisis, we have no presidential uh, involvement at all. We have no vice presidential involvement at mm -hmm. all. Uh, we have we have so many things that point to a, a pathetic situation uh, at our Texas border and other borders here with Arizona, New Mexico, and California that are taking place. I mean, we have there mass riot in Yuma, Arizona yesterday um, with Haitians there that have come across. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's a it, it's 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 a crisis, uh, a monumental horrific crisis that's been going on since January the 20th yeah. uh, with the policies that have been put in place uh, yeah. in our board control ordered to do this. Right. Absolutely. And now, of course, uh, perhaps not feeling the support that they need to just do their jobs. Sheriff Louderback joining us live on the program. Shower Sheriff, thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. You. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.